antimicrobial resistance is growing, which is the burden of the problem. The global burden of uh, antimicrobial resistance is really problematic all around the world, so the bacteria problems represent a globalization problem and uh, based on the report uh, made by and uh, uh, support by the UK government on 2014 there were 700,000 people that die all around the world for antimicrobial resistant bugs and the projection was that in 2050 there will be more than 10 million people that will die for antimicrobial uh, resistant bugs, more than the, any other kind of diseases, more than the people that will die even for cancer. What could be the solution? Obviously we have to invest in prevention and probably with the better prevention tools we can probably save 50% of this infection. But the, the, the second part is that we have uh, several countries in the uh, European Union and all around the world in which uh, the problem of antimicrobial resistance traits is already there. So the solution should be to provide to doctors and, and the patients better uh, tools for diagnosis from one side and obviously better weapons to uh, cure and uh, to kill bacteria and uh, uh, better uh, uh, weapons means new antibiotics. So and probably uh, one of the solutions should be to provide uh, from now to the future uh, better uh, antibiotics, new antibiotics with new mechanisms of action. Do we need more research in this field? So I think you know in general in the past uh, 10-15 years there has been uh, some interest in antibiotics and in particular some interest in research in antibiotics. Uh, we, uh, the, the FDA approved in the past 10 years more than 15 new antibiotics. However, when we compare the number of new antibiotics approved or the number of antibiotics in phase 2 and phase 3, uh, development and we compare with the oncological drugs, the numbers are uh, really dramatic different, differently. I mean, we have 12 uh, new antibiotics on, on advanced phase of development and 700 uh, oncological drugs, so the ratio is 1 to 100. Is the lack of research the only problem? We have also some regulatory problems because the new antibiotics are in general approved for syndromic use, I mean for pneumonia, for urinary infections, for abdominal infections. At the end, it's really important for us to have these drugs available for the empiric use or for the target use in some resistant bugs. And I believe that for the future it's important maybe to uh, have uh, uh, easier way to use this drug earlier with some uh, pathway for treatment of this kind of inf of this kind of infection so we have to work maybe with the regulatory agency at the local level and uh, at the intern uh, European level in order to provide doctors this antibiotic to be used earlier uh, if we use the new antibiotics instead of the old antibiotics we can save a lot of death just based on uh, uh, the European data, actually we have more or less 33,000 people that uh, die every year for uh, resistant bugs, uh, uh, for uh, hospital acquired infections. So obviously if we can use the new antibiotics earlier and in this way we can provide a better empirical treatment, based on the data that we have, we can save at least 30% of the death. And 30% of the death at the European level means 10,000 people and at the Italian level it means 3,000 people. So this is important. So we have to work with the, with the Ministry of Health, we have to work with the, uh, the, the national agencies in order to provide the patient the best treatment for their resistant bugs.